What's going on guys? Today we're gonna to be walking you through how we made a pair of the Simpsons Hypebeast cleats. We went ahead and designed these for Quan Alexander of the San Francisco 49ers. And what we did was take this popular image that was floating around the internet a few years back of the Simpsons characters wearing some really cool streetwear, along with some really cool shoes. And today we're gonna to walk you guys through how we take that exact image and place it on this pair of cleats. Let's go ahead and get things started. So up to this point, what we've gotten done was laid down all these stencil patterns on one of our shoes. We have an LV print that's intertwined with a Gucci drip pattern. And then on the other shoe, we have some off-white patterning and that's intertwined with some Nike SB logos. On the inside of the shoes, we have some of that classic off-white branding, which labels out which player these are made for. And then on the other shoe, we just went ahead and mixed together a bunch of the hype brands with all of their logos. And now we're ready to move into creating a stencil of each of these Simpsons characters that are gonna be wearing some pretty cool streetwear. So the way that I go about this is first pull our image directly off of Google into Photoshop. And then what I like to do is outline each of my subjects and convert them into an entirely black image. This is what we're gonna create the stencil of. And then in order to make the stencil a little bit further developed, what I'm gonna do is outline some of the major features of the character. So whether that be some of the eyes, the mouth, some of the articles of clothing, I'm just gonna create a few extra things which will really help me size up all the different parts of the character. So all of these little white details that I'm adding into the black silhouette just help me create a better detailed stencil in the long run when I go to cut this out. After that, I'm gonna load these black and white silhouettes into Silhouette Studio, which is what we use along with one of our Silhouette cameos for anybody wondering what tabletop vinyl cutter we use. Now I'm gonna trace out this image in the Silhouette Studio program, and then I'm gonna size it up on the shoes I'm gonna go ahead, take a ruler, and figure out exactly how big I want each of these characters to be. Then go ahead, size that up in the program, and now we're ready to go ahead and get this cut out. Now with our stencil cut out, I'm gonna go ahead, place some transfer paper on top of it, and we're gonna go ahead and try to transfer these characters onto our clear transparent transfer paper, which will help us properly place them onto the shoe exactly where we want them. Now I'm gonna go ahead, take the positive portion of the stencil, place that around our characters, go ahead and remove those silhouettes, and now we're ready to go ahead and lay down that Simpsons yellow skin color onto these. After I have these yellow silhouettes done, this is now where I'm just gonna move in to start filling in some of the other colors that's gonna be incorporated into their clothing. And now we're ready for the fun part of doing the outlining and bringing this entire project to life. And as you guys know, I'm gonna go ahead and use my classic toothpick technique right here to knock this out. We're gonna go ahead and remove our tape around the entire sole, and we're gonna reveal this gold sole plate, which works really well with this red and gold colorway which lines up really cleanly with that 49ers colorway and some of the last little details to finish these off we're gonna add a black drip onto the swoosh and then we're gonna go ahead and grab some of our white and gold laces from Lace Lab and throw them onto these. And now as we move into some finalized pictures of these, there's a couple extra things that I wanna touch on for you guys. So one thing that I thought was pretty interesting is that the background of these and all of this designer stenciling took just as long, if not longer, than doing the actual Simpsons artwork. And when you're working with some intricate stenciling like this, it's very important to make sure that you go back and make sure you're not leaving any of your vinyl behind, especially when you have all these tiny little dots and tiny little things that can easily just kind of get lost to the naked eye. So you really need to make sure you go back and touch up any spots that, you know, got peeled up with the vinyl or any areas where you got any overspray or anything like that. You really want these to have that nice, clean, finished look. And as you can see with each of our characters, what I did was add a shadow coming from the rear end of the shoe. And something like this just adds another layer of detail and really gives it some placement onto the shoe and doesn't just give it that kind of sticker-ass just place directly onto here look. It kind of makes it really intertwined and incorporated into the entire thing. And so this is just a subtle detail of taking that Simpsons yellow skin color, mixing in just a tad of dark gray, and then just adding a basically another outline near the back end of each of the characters. Then we of course gave each of the characters a really cool pair of shoes. We have Lisa rocking the Carmine 6s, 
Bart and the Red Octobers, Maggie in a pair of the Air Mags, Marge is of course wearing the Marge Simpson SBs, and lastly, we have Homer rocking a pair of the Solar Red Easy 2s. So as you guys are actually watching this, we're gonna be filming a documentary with the Angelus team. We're super excited to be doing our first video with them. We of course will be dropping a behind the scenes look at that video as they're producing the actual doc. I'm sure it's gonna take a little bit before theirs releases, but we're gonna be releasing something from our end, a little behind the scenes look at what we're gonna be doing with them. So stay tuned for that. So of course, we wanna thank you guys for hanging out with us, watching another video. NFL season's coming up, so of course, you guys know that means that we're going to be dropping a lot more cleat videos on here. We'll be covering everything you guys need to know from stenciling like today, a little bit more prep stuff, and everything in between. So let us know who you guys are interested in seeing us work with this season. Go ahead, drop a like on this video if you haven't already. Make sure you're subscribed, and we'll see you guys in that next video.